How can you tell if the painting by Leonardo da Vinci is original or not? How would someone uh, uh, determine or declare its undisputed origin? Is it a fake? Is it a copied work of art? Well, here are four ways uh, to help determine originality. Number one, does the painting come with a certificate of authenticity? You know, can the owner of the art that's displayed uh, have this certificate of authenticity that's signed by the original artist? Number two, is there a qualified authority? You know, who can attest to the painting's creation? Number three, is there uh, forensic analysis available? You know, can someone provide physical evidence uh, with maybe fingerprints, a DNA of the original artist? And number four, is there a record of historical ownership or what's called provenance? Does the record prove previous ownership so as to attest that the painting is not a forgery or that it was acquired illegally? Well, the Enneagram is a tool that helps not only in self-awareness, but also in determining authentic design. Many people struggle with understanding or authenticating their initial birthright as a child of God. So is there a certificate of authenticity? We believe that God is the original artist of you, and He can display your certificate of authenticity anytime. He wants. Number two, is there a qualified authority? Well, we believe that Jesus is an expert of the artist. He was the human form of God's creation specifically. And so Jesus comes with authority to attest to your original design. Is there forensic analysis available? Well, we believe that the Holy Spirit provides physical evidence the fingerprint and the DNA of God inside you. And so you have that from the original artist. And finally, is there a record of historical ownership? Uh, we believe the Bible is recorded ownership uh, and it has a history of that. It proves previous ownership. And you are not a forgery, nor were you acquired illegally. You are a child of God. Being authentic is the terminology that we are going to be using to describe someone who reclaims their original design in observing and relating to the world around them. Maladaptive is a term that we'll use to describe a person's process of dealing with people and the world and, and themselves that lead to harm and compulsive behavior and dysfunctional behavior. You know, survival techniques have been around for a long time, and they used to work for us, but since adulthood, uh, they've become maladaptive. See, these early childhood techniques uh, to fight, to run away, to freeze, were only meant to work for a temporary period of time until we learned a much more authentic approach. Someone once said that it's full of wisdom for people who want to get out of their own way and reclaim who they really were created to be. So at the simplest level, the Enneagram can be viewed as a personality typing system, but it's much more than that. And the resulting nine points represent uh, nine basic or core personality types, each of which has a very unique perspective and approach to, to life. So the theory behind the Enneagram <clears throat> is that we each polarize at one of the nine points. And we then either overuse or underuse the characteristics associated with that type while leaving the specialties associated with the other points underdeveloped. So each character also represents this particular type of imbalance. Our core personality type usually doesn't change over the course of a lifetime, but as we become aware of our imbalances, 
we gain the ability to moderate them and they no longer rule us. So we are more than our type. Ian Cron states in his book, The Road Back to You, that the Enneagram is not putting anyone in a box. It's actually a tool that helps us get out of the box that we put ourselves in. Have you ever perceived yourself as being captured, imprisoned in a cage, and, and you've been hoping that someone would come around someday and release you and unlock the door for you? Well, the Enneagram tool can assist an individual to not only become more self-aware, but also add range and choice to our lives to, to regain our original design by God. It's a tool that can help us notice that the key to our prison door, to our cage, has always been in our hand. Uh, you're not a copy. You're not a fake. It's your journey, if you choose to accept it, <laughs> will provide you an opportunity to accept and really own your original design, which will help you overcome obstacles in your path toward wholeness and freedom. Well, follow the link produced and provided in this uh, online course to access the Enneagram assessment. And hopefully you will determine the primary number or type that you tend to use in your navigating of your life.